You can probably define my young life by what games I was playing on the couch with my buds. The early years of elementary school were all about Mario Party, Super Smash Bros, and Time Splitters too. Then those middle years came, the land of rife change and uncertainty and girls, and this was cemented by the legendary title Halo 2. Never a purer inquiry has ever been asked than Team Snipers on Lockout, bruh? This carried well into high school, and Halo 2 was joined by its quirky younger brother, Halo 3, where system links were the beautiful land of 12 dudes in a basement, shit-talking to the point of fisticuffs. I wouldn't have changed it for the world. And then there was alongside some plastic instruments and rock band and some Wii Sports shenanigans in the tabletop role-playing games. And that was basically my high school. But then I moved away to university, or college, or whatever you want to call it. Times were a-changing, and to not appear full and total nerd to all those cool new people, I kept it cool, you know? Yeah, I play video games. I play Shell 2011, sports and stuff. Halo 4 was always acceptable too, because Halo was a franchise that everybody knew and loved. And basically, if you were a teenage boy growing up in the mid-2000s, Every, you knew Halo, you played Halo, and Halo was cool. But when Halo 4 came out, stuff started to change. You see, people point to the Halo we shall not speak about, 5, as the key mark in the travesty of modern AAA development because it urinated over one of the core pillars of Halo's design, split screen. And now I'll be first to admit, I never picked up Halo 5. I've never played Halo 5. And you know why? Because it doesn't have split screen. The game that came after 4 had no ability for you to play on the couch with your buddies. There were no more couches, no more buds, no more system links, just microphones and overpriced shitty online services. But you know, Halo 4 isn't innocent in all of this. Its hands aren't clean. Halo 4 was the progenitor of the things to come. Because Halo 4 parceled down split screen. Halo 2 and 3 had split screen two ways. You know, you could have four people. There were two axes of cuts going on. You could have four people play Team Snipers on lock out on one system on one screen, but of course with screen peaking galore. But Halo 4 had just one split. Two screens. There's no Team Snipers on lockout in two player mode, Jimmy, you idiot. Because you see, Halo 4 was released in 2012, and 2012 was one of those monolithic years in video games. We saw entries into franchises that have stood the test of time, like Borderlands 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Far Cry 3, Diablo 3, and we even saw new games come onto the market and shake it all up, like Dishonored and The Walking Dead. And the Halo 4 split-screen controversy was arguably a blip in the radar of 2012 when you compared it to some of the biggest gaming controversies that are still felt today. So why, John? Why do we care about Halo when we're supposed to be talking about indie games? Well, you see, Jimmy, it's because nothing could replace the magic of Team Snipers on Lockout. So when Halo 3 faded into shadow, we were left wandering aimlessly in the dark abyss of crap until 2015. In the great summer of Julius, a new prophet came, one that heralded the great dawn, the return of the couch and the buds, and its name was Rocket League. But I don't want to get into NASCAR soccer and why it's beautiful. There's been a ton of discussion about that. Besides, it's still about sports. <laughs> sports. But no, Jimmy, Rocket League was the prophet. The window into a new world where I took it upon myself to type in local multiplayer on Steam. And then I found the true game. The game that has awoken team snipers on lockout. Tower Fall Ascension. Huh. I cannot express to you 
I can't ex I cannot express to all you boys and girls the glory that is Towerfall. Matt Makes Games is an understatement of the decade. It's Matt Makes Frickin' Sweet Games is what it should be called because Towerfall opened my eyes to the beautiful cuddly underbelly of video games. The non AAA space of couch multiplayer. Towerfall brought me back to 2006, playing Halo 2 with all that bad skin and shit. For those of you who don't know, and shame on you, shame Jimmy, Towerfall is like Super Smash Bros, but without the smash, and instead you get bows and arrows. You all share a screen, and then you have to shoot each other. There's random effects, and then there's upgrades that you lock each level, but no, no Jimmy, you don't have to pay for them. And then you can navigate around the level by dashing and climbing and being a little koala bear. And so you gotta figure out the layout of each map just like you would know, have to know that the sword is on the bottom back corridor of Lockout. So what makes the beauty of Towerfall is the exciting combination of luck and skill. You can dodge, and then you can dodge and catch an arrow. Then the special arrows have different effects, and then there are environmental changes that make you go whoa, 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 whoa. But I want to talk about it because there's a team mode, just like team game modes in Halo. And more importantly, on the Switch, you can play with up to six players in two teams of three. This, everyone, this is what the game after Halo 4 should have been. I mean, I don't have five other friends or six Joy-Con controllers to try this out with, but don't you dare say, Jimmy, I am not trying to find them. Because even with four players, this game is pure bliss. This harkens back to my days of Mountain Dew and Cool Ranch Doritos and a boy with a dream. This is what multiplayer should be, not this. This. And do you know what? Towerfall is just the tip of the iceberg. It's non-AAA games and Nintendo who are keeping asses on our couches, who are bringing people together. Towerfall is just one game now among dozens that have been released in the past three to four years. And we've been flooded with the couch renaissance, the couch renaissance, the couch renaissance, the sofa enlightenment, the fresco of the eight butt cheeks, the great return of the humanness of gaming, because video games really wouldn't be what they were without people to share them with. That's something that can never be replaced. And that's something we really need to hold on to and cherish. And so I want to leave you guys with a small anecdote that I think should give us all gamer nerds some hope. I had some friends come stay with me last year who aren't really gamer nerds, but enjoy the occasional dip into the Nintendo land or Legoville. I showed them Towerfall. At first they were like, what the frick is going on here? But then they couldn't get enough. In fact, when they went back home, back to their colleges, they started playing Towerfall in their dorm, and they got their entire floor of like 20 people hooked. They held tournaments. Could you have done that with the game that came after Halo 4? No, I don't think so. Nor most of the AAA nonsense that comes out these days, save you, Nintendo, bless you. Towerfall's insistent on couch multiplayer is beautiful and enlightening because all you need to do is pick up a controller. You don't need to create a new account or a new login or download a new client or get a console or to find an internet connection or to buy one of those shitty mics or to do any of these things. All you have to do is be there in the room and say, hey, I bet I can snipe you from across the map and it's on. And that, my friends, is the first episode in a new thing I'm kind of trying out here in this project, which is called In-Depth. Indie depth I don't know, play on words there. Where I want to talk about video games, not from a perspective of necessarily a critical review, but more so critical commentary or commentary or exploring my thoughts or just talking to you guys about games. Non-AAA games. Non-AAA games and how they interact with AAA games. What are the themes? What has changed? What is involved? And what's awesome? So I hope you enjoyed this. I don't really like to do this, but if you like what I'm doing here, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Much love. Calm down. Uh, no, this is not a game about. I can't scream. This game's not being about calm. Oh, fuck! Oh, I tried to jump up! <laughs> this is not a game about calm. Oh, fuck! Oh, I tried to jump up! Oh, fuck! Oh, I
Did I kill everyone? You killed me. Yes, everyone. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Man, you suck. <laughs>